Hello YouTube, welcome again to channel 48 and thank you for tuning in. Well, I'm here with the Moto G2 and this phone I got from somebody in Suriname and in fact I put it away and never looked at it ever again uh, because the bootloader was as well locked and you know how I think about locked bootloaders and all these steps you must take to you know unlock them but yesterday I was inspired to do so so I grabbed the phone uh, I, I put it into a fast boot mode uh, turning it off and then holding down volume and power together and then releasing power keep holding volume down will bring you in a fast boot mode uh, I you know I unlocked the bootloader I went to the Motorola website it was really easy you know all the steps were you know um, clearly stated on 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 there you must log in with a working Gmail account or any email account so you can you know so they can send you that code um, the code is being sent instantly meaning that whenever you put the phone into uh, a fast boot mode with ADB fast boot uh, from out GNU uh, I could you know easily uh, you know get the the um uh, the um code that is in the phone that is locking the um uh, so you know um, these are five rows of, of numbers after you know typing the command in ADB fastboot you will see these five rows you know uh, and you must copy all these numbers and paste them in a, into another box you know all behind each other then you're gonna have this very very long number and uh, then you will um, this, the website will tell you if it can be unlocked if it's unlockable this one was unlockable so then uh, it was very easy you know just to then uh, put in the code to unlock the bootloader and then in fact you're already uh, good to go to then install twerp so we're gonna go from there because the unlocking procedure is, is something that you must do yourself okay uh, I did it uh, here on my uh, Linux machine I'm gonna show how to do it in Ubuntu but you can as well do it under Windows but then you will have to install ADB fastboot just look on XDA there is some light package that will uh, make a working folder on your C drive and from from out there you can open a terminal in that in that folder you know and then you will be able to for instance flash twerp and as well unlock the bootloader I'm doing it under GNU so I'm gonna show it uh, under GNU how to get to that folder where that folder is located in system you know because you might be like hey I just installed ADB but when I type ADB I don't see anything in GNU it's a little bit different but it's very very easy so follow this video very very good if you have this phone or if you're planning to buy one for maybe 10 euros or 15 euros because these phones this G2 from 2014 is officially supported by Sierra Android for instance uh, it having Android 10 um, there is another Android 10 paranoid that uh, we will install we first gonna uh, push twerp via ADB uh, via fastboot to this phone so that we're gonna do in this video and then we're gonna install so we, when we install to work we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, install the paranoid ROM Android 10 and you as well gonna see uh, some views of the effect the build that I at this point already finished I finished it yesterday the first world's first iOS ROM uh, for for this device it's it's really beautiful it's built on amazingly good uh, firmware from the e foundation because uh, e foundation is as well supporting this phone officially so uh, let's get started so welcome to a new class here at channel 48 my name is puck and thank you for tuning in on this beautiful monday monday monday, monday. After you unlock the bootloader, it's now time to install Twerp. YouTube, hello, welcome again to channel 48. I'm here with the old Moto G2. It's a Motorola from 2014. Uh, I unlocked the bootloader and it was not that hard. What you need is uh, ADB, fastboot ADB. And uh, I installed it on my Ubuntu 
And then, in fact, the next thing to do is to find the ADB, because where where is the folder, the working folder, after you installed it in, in Ubuntu? Well, just go to your file system, go to user, go to lib, and then here you're going to see Android SDK. Okay? And here you can see the platform tools. Open that folder. This is the ADB working folder. So if you want to flash anything to, 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 to a phone, for instance, yesterday uh, I, I flashed uh, Twerp to my, to my Mido. Um, that is the Redmi Note 4. So it, it, it has Twerp now. Uh, as you can see here is the Twerp somewhere here. We should have Mido, Mido image. I renamed it so you don't have to type too much. So how to get started? Well, just right mouse click and then open in a terminal and just type ADB. And here you're gonna see that ADB and then ADB uh, devices. Let me see what I will get. List of devices attached. Of course, device must be in a fast boot uh, mode. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna turn it off, power off. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna hold down the volume and press power. Just keep pressing until it goes off. Boom. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, let go of power. And now you're gonna be in a fast boot mode. Okay, so I'm gonna put a phone here so you can kind of see what is cracker lacking. Can you see it? Yes, okay. So now when I'm gonna type, Fast boot devices. We are in the fast boot mode. Oh, not fast boot, but fast boot. And then the devices. You see, set X D da blah blah. That is the device. Let me zoom in there for you. You see that? So now we're gonna flash twerp to the device. So we're gonna tell uh, uh, Fastboot to sideload twerp to to the device. So how to do that? Well, we will have to make sure that the twerp is in this folder. So if you download the twerp, downloads, and this will be the procedure for to 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 install twerp on all these sorts of devices okay this is the titan we're gonna copy copy that or we can as well just copy it to here to the folder all right so it's not copying because you must open that folder with administrator rights so open as administrator put in your password Okay, now we are in the folder, so we're going to grab the twerp that we want to install to this device and we copy it to the folder there, to the working folder. We're going to rename it and we're just going to say, we're going to call it Titan image. Uh, okay, I'm just going to rename it from here. We rename it to titan.image. It's fine. And we're going to copy it to there. Replace. Yes, replace. Oh, I already created titan. You see that? Here it is. So we're going to remove this one. Move to trash. And we have titan in here. And we have... Mido in here, and we should have one more. Okay, no, that is correct. The Mido and the Titan. So uh, the ADB is running from out this folder. So now we're gonna tell ADB, yeah? We're gonna tell Fastboot to 
put that fold that file the titan image to install it as a recovery if you're completely new to this you can go to uh, wiki at lineage.org lineageos.org and up here you're gonna see that you can boot into a bootloader we are already in the boot we are in fast boot okay uh, that's the bootloader of this device and uh, this is the only command that you must type fast boot flash recovery and then titan so we're gonna type fast boot flash recovery space and then titan dot image and there you go we just flashed twerp so um, now the phone is having twerp volume and power down and then if you're gonna go to the recovery then as you can see we, we don't come into twerp this is very normal this is the screen that will tell you that the bootloader is unlocked so just wait and boom it will go automatically into twerp so the only thing that you now need to do is connect it to your computer because uh, the mtp works fine all right so you will see the internal drive just wait here you don't have to press no buttons when you select recovery so we're gonna do it one more time volume down power release power that will bring us in a recover at least in a fast boot mode select recovery from here confirm with volume up and then we get into the screen okay just wait you don't have to press anything just wait okay just wait and then in a couple of seconds wait boom there we are in twerp so now you successfully installed twerp on the titan the moto g2 a phone from 2014 that at this point even has a android 10 several builds of android 10 android 9 out there uh, not that they are my first choice uh, my first choice for this phone because uh, of the build date would be uh, yeah erom from the e foundation i was so happy to see that they are as well supporting this phone they have a fantastic build of nougat with security patches from 2020 uh, available so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build a very nice ios rom special for this phone because that was never created yet if you look on uh, search on youtube ios rom for for titan moto, moto g2 there is no 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 such thing okay so i'm just gonna build uh yeah a ios rom so people that have this phone can at least uh, as well install that one i'm gonna do it on the rom from e foundation but at this point uh, i'm as well gonna take a look at android 10 paranoid uh, paranoid paranoid rom uh, i just downloaded it and uh, yeah i'm just gonna install it we can install it together so you can see uh, that this phone from 2014 you know i was always like a hey, samsung phones amazing phones etc i agree they are still you know samsung s2 as well runs uh, android 10 that one is from 2012 but hey who would say that a motorola phone yeah a moto g2 would be able to run android android 10 in 2020 would you ever think of such a thing happening to this phone well <laughs> I always thought that this was one stupid phone. I had it in my collection. And in fact, I got it in Suriname. And in fact, I, I, I never looked at the phone because, yeah, the thing was locked. And I was like, hey, uh, complete hassle to, to unlock uh, this phone. But uh, nothing more is true. It's very easy, the procedure, my friends. The procedure is very easy. You just go to... Uh, uh just type in 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 google unlock motorola phone and then you're gonna find the website from motorola up there create a, a working account you know or log in with your google i just logged in with my my one of my google accounts and uh, uh i inserted the 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 the, the um 
the OOM code that is in, in your locked Motorola phone. And uh, you will find all the instructions on the website. Very easy to type. You need ADB, so you need to install ADB. Uh, you can go for a Windows version as well. Uh, there is a, a light version, I think. Uh, I'm not even sure how it's called. I have it on my other computer installed. But yeah, I'm now, uh, in fact, using GNU Linux. So uh, I, I wanted to do it under Linux. Okay, so yeah, now you know how to find the folder. If you don't know how to install ADB Fastboot on, on, on your Linux Ubuntu machine, just go to Google, type uh, install ADB uh, on Ubuntu, and then you will find uh, the line that you must type. It's very easy. I can make a video about it. And then, uh, in fact, we can, uh, you can then uh, put in the OOM um, uh, to show the OOM um, uh, unlock code that is on the phone, and it will display uh, five uh, five rows of numbers uh, long numbers that you will have to copy into one line and paste it again in 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 the in the on the website uh, in fact very very easy just you know uh, copy paste uh, from your terminal to the website and after putting in these five long lines uh, it will tell you if the phone can be unlocked or not uh, in my case it was unlockable and then I got uh, the next message was to check out my email because up there uh, I just received an email with a code. Uh, leave that, that, that page open, go with another page to your email and get, uh, get the code, uh, put it in and then boom, suddenly you will find out that your phone is unlocked and then you will get into the white screen and the rest you already saw how to install the twerp, etc. At this point, I'm installing Android 10. It's almost there. I almost cannot believe it. You know, I just wanted to see it. And then I was like, hey, I'm going to create a nice iOS ROM for this thing because, yeah, there are, of course, many videos already showing uh, all sorts of uh, ROMs as well, Android 10 for this phone on, on YouTube. So it would not be a special thing for me to create another video showing Android 10 running on this phone. So that's why I must make a special ROM for this phone. And that will then be, yeah, it was never created uh, on YouTube yet or shown. And that is, will be then, of course, the iOS ROM that in the next video will come and pass by real fast, depending on the views that this video will get and the interest, because uh, if no, no one of you is having this phone anymore, and are not interested in, in, in some special ROM, then of course, yeah, I will only create it for myself. And here you can see it, Paranoid ROM is booting up, guys. This is Android 10, and you will be amazed about the boot up time. It's amazingly fast. This device is freed. It's a free device, you know? It's free. It's freed from Motorola. You finally got what you paid for. Eh, eh, eh. Did you see that? It's booting. Eh, eh. Wah. Mm -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> paranoid rum. Jawel, paranoid rum peeps. Look at that. Paranoid, paranoid rum. Very, very nice. Look at, look at all this, 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 this beauty and this, Dignity. Let's take a look into the settings. Oh, look at that. Styles. Yeah, you can change the styles. So, so, so. Wallpapers. So, no, 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 no wallpaper styles and wallpapers here, maybe. Oh, that is the style. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with the style. I like it. Let's go to the settings. Nice little green wheel. Oh, look at that. This Motorola feels like a brand new phone. This thing feels like a brand new phone. Wow, I love that green as well. Moto G 2014. So, um, what can I say? Uh -huh, I like Samsung, but hey, I like Moto G too. Because I understand Moto G now, I understand how to how to unlock it and how to do everything. As you could see, install Twerp and now even install Android 10. This is really amazing, is the cam working? Let's see if the cam works. Uh, deny, we don't like that. Next. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we just made the picture. Video. And we're recording, testing, one, two, three, four, five. Ta Hey, don't be so, so soft on the music for me. And we're recording, testing, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, that is a nice sound. That is very nice sound. Um, so let's go back to camera here and then I want to see selfie how to do that here selfie selfie hello testing one two three four five hello and welcome to channel 48 check that out Testing one two three four five. Hello and welcome to channel forty eight. Wow, a beautiful, beautiful recording. Look at that, and I can say it. I hear the sound. It's immediately a nice, lovely sound. The microphone sounds good. So this thing should have a good duck. We must find out. So that's why I'm gonna create a nice room for it. Not that this room is not nice, this is a beautiful room and uh, I will as well tell you who created it because I did not even, let me see, XTA, Paranoid, here it is, the Paranoid room. This was by developer, what is his name, Renan Kieros, Kieros, Kieros. Kieros, Kieros. So this was by Rinan. I'm just gonna say Rinan, Rinan, bro. I love this room. I love it. I love your work. Uh, it's really nice. It looks good, outstanding. So all credits for this beautiful room goes to Rinan Kieros, Kieros, Kier, Kieros, Rinan Kier, Kier. Oh, Renan Kieros. Renan Kieros. I must say it nice, eh? because you created a nice. Look, look at your G. Your G. Your G2 just became a wonderful, beautiful device. Many people are gonna love that G2 again. So yeah, this phone can still be used in 2020. It was created in 2014. And uh, it's still a very nice phone. As you can see, it has development going on. Uh, uh, by the way, this ROM is, uh, let me see, This I think this was official. This is official. Oh, no, this one is unofficial. I as well had the official ROM. I found the official ROM, but I can, oh, yeah. I found the official ROM, and that's uh, the ROM that I'm going to use for, for the iOS uh, ROM for this phone. You know, so I will as well create the iOS ROM for this phone. And that will be done on Resurrection Official. Well, to tell you the honest truth, uh, I did test uh, the iOS ROM created on Resurrection. Uh, but, yeah, in fact, it was having crazy stock-ups. And I don't know, I was not really happy about uh, the end result. Um, so then I found out that eFoundation, my favorite uh, yeah, ROM creation company in the world, uh, together with Lineage OS and all the others, of course, but E has something special, E, e is special to me, so yeah. Uh, then I found out that E is as well, you know, supporting this phone. And if E supports this phone, then it means that you have a complete package. You have uh, you have Micro G built in, uh, you have a map, uh, yeah, free maps, oh, yeah, what's it called? Uh, Magic Earth uh, built-in navigation. You will have an app store built-in that is, you know, uh, checked by the e-store. And uh, don't forget, E Foundation is one of the first, uh, together with Linux OS, of course, um, that is coming out on the Fairphone. Yes, the Fairphone. That, that's how it was called. I need to get one as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, E Foundation is 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 growing and is doing fantastic. So I'm very proud of them. You know, so uh, I will you know show you 
e foundation uh, in the next video on this on this phone uh, and then you know um, kind of yeah modeled to ios to bring it even more attention because there is no ios rom for this phone you understand so yeah that will be something special for all the motorola users out there with this phone to come and take a look at and to test and probably they never heard of eROM and when they're gonna find out how fantastic eROM is working they just gonna love it okay so i'm gonna give you a little few here of uh, of of the ios rom that i uh, quickly uh, put together i copied it to the phone and uh, but this rom you cannot download okay uh, because it's not good enough I tested it for an hour and then it already started to 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 act uh, slack so yeah i didn't want that so up here i'm just gonna do a wipe data factory reset okay and then you're gonna see the very first rom that you cannot download yet but i will uh in the next video of course uh yeah have a good working build for you that you can install safely onto this phone so you can use this phone in an amazing way because yeah this is a nice phone it's not a big uh, five inch or six inch screen nothing like that it doesn't have all these cores so that's why i'm thinking even though it can run android 10 nicely i think it would it would be uh, even better off you know uh, on android 7.1 if you know it's still being supported and uh, if that support at a certain moment stops yeah then we can always say uh, guys uh, yeah we're gonna update it to android 9 you know because there are uh, many builds out there uh, from android 9 android 8 and now as well android 10 so this is a very flexible phone okay this is a phone that i never thought it was this phone amazes me in 2020 and uh, I'm really happy and proud to show it uh, because after all these years this is the the screen that will uh, remind you that this uh, yeah this phone has an unlocked bootloader I don't know how to change the screen if some developer can let me know how to change the screen and there we go uh, yeah we're booting up this is my first iOS ROM that I created for this phone uh, it's not perfect yet so that's why I will not release this this build uh, I think the Apple is a little bit too big you know optic it does not well it looks it's almost good okay it's almost good but it should be a little bit smaller and uh, yeah the rest of, of of what this all is peeps you're gonna see in the next video otherwise this video will get way too long so uh, for now I want to say back to the studio and uh, check out the next video uh, or maybe the next one after that one that will bring a nice good working uh, ios rom uh, build it on e foundation firmware thanks to lineage os e foundation you know and of course all the fantastic uh, tools that i'm using and the people behind them this is big group of people and uh, yeah these are all my family so that's why we can do all these beautiful things uh, here on youtube okay and uh, of course big thumbs up and much love to xda apostrophe developers.com the website where it all began at least for me and uh, we have nice people out there lovely people doing lovely work on android android firmware you know and uh tja, it's up to us to to get the right ones and to find the right ones and to test out in fact all of them until we find the very best room uh, to install on our device so at this point uh yeah this is the first boot it it takes a second but uh soon we will be in the home screen uh, but more of that in my next video okay there we go look at that dang uh -uh. and we are immediately booted up look at that peeps
Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this class. Uh, I really uh, enjoyed this phone now. I never thought that this Motorola would be such a good phone still in 2020. I can tell you it is because it's having official development, development that Motorola left behind long time ago. It got looks that Motorola could never give to this phone. This phone was one ugly phone being on the yeah, firmware with all sorts of ugly icons. It looked terrible, overwhelming, and now it's a beautiful, nice phone. Now you own it, it's yours now. Uh, yeah, in fact, you got what you paid for. Finally, you unlock the bootloader and now you're, you're just good to go. And you, you'll be able to install all sorts of ROM. But you know, before you're gonna install all these sorts of ROMs, think of certain things. Is the ROM being developed? Is it working good? You know, updates, what's up with that? Who is creating it? How about the privacy possibilities in the ROM? Is the launcher using all sorts of rights that you cannot turn off and things like that? When, you know, these answers are all satisfying to you, then you should install the ROM and go test it and play with it or maybe even use it as your daily phone. Remember, installing gaps is not a good option, okay? You should not install gaps. So if you're gonna ask me what gaps to install, I will just send you to opengaps.org, but I rather have you not asking me about gaps. You know, if you want gaps, then you must go to the store and buy a new phone, you know, in the store. This is about the old phone from 2014 that you still want to use in an amazing way. And thanks to Micro G built in, you know, uh, by eFoundation, you will have a phone that can run all sorts of, you know, applications out there that require Google services to be installed. Maybe not all of them will work so, so good as they do whenever Google services is installed, but uh, hey, then you must buy a phone from 2020. You should not try to do things uh, that are, you know, already asking a whole lot from the 2020 phones. You know, you should not ask me to do things like that in this, in this beautiful phone that is having amazing, beautiful hardware. So credits to uh, Motorola for the, for, the, for the hardware, credits to, to uh, yeah, the designer of, 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 of the model. It looks good, it feels good in your hand. Uh, although I still would love to have, you know, uh, a nice flip case for this phone, you know, so I think Motorola is uh, just like Samsung, a good phone to invest uh, your money into because of the possibility to unlock the bootloader. I would rather go for a Motorola than for any of the Huawei's phones out there, even though they look even more beautiful and they have even more cores and cameras and microphones, you know, really just because of the fact that they cannot be unlocked. So when I'm gonna buy a Huawei phone, it's a marriage for the rest of my life, you know, and I will never be able to, to, to get a divorce with the, with the firmware. So yeah, that's just how it is. So that's why, you know, I promote phones that give us the possibility to at least become the owner of that device that we paid our money for, even way back in 2014, you know, it doesn't matter, this phone, is you know a amazing great phone to still use in 2014 and whoever say that that is not the case um, then yeah you guys will yeah probably point to you know applications such as gta and and uh, advanced uh, i don't know what kind of games you know this is not for for gaming this is not for maybe some simple game will work you know but it's more about having a nice phone great look and feels good firmware you know that you can trust uh, uh, application store a uh, navigation it's all built in thanks to eROM eFoundation and that's why I built the iOS ROM on the eFoundation ROM and for no other reason just because it's so complete you know because I want you to have the very best out there on your Moto G2 so you you know you don't get annoyed I want you to use this phone in 2020 still as if it's a brand new phone I wish you a fantastic day peeps stay well I'm gonna sit a bit in the sun sun is shining weather is sweet it wants to make you move your dancing feet so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now play some reggae music on the background you know and just chill on my balcony I see you in the next video stay well stay healthy and until then and 
I'm happy with my how shall we call this? My iMoto. This is my iMoto. I'm gonna call it iMoto. So see you in the next video that will bring you the iMoto ROM for this beautiful G2 from 2014.